It's easy to believe that earthworms are the silver bullet for fixing tired soil. They're celebrated for aerating the ground, digesting organic matter, and leaving behind castings that feed plants. But here's the truth. Many gardeners learn the hard way. Earthworms alone aren't enough to revive poor, compacted, or nutrient-starved soil. Without the right food and habitat, worms will leave or lie dormant, and your garden will remain stagnant. If you really want worms to work their magic, you need to give them a reason to stay. And that starts with the right kind of organic matter. One of the most reliable, no-fuss ways to create an earthworm paradise is with fresh grass clippings. Grass clippings are more than a convenient mulch. They're a dynamic catalyst that fuels microbes, holds moisture, and builds the foundation worms rely on to thrive. Let's walk step-by-step step through exactly how to use grass clippings to turn your soil into a living system where earthworms do their best work. Before you add anything, take a moment to clear the bed of any thick weeds or crusted debris. Compacted soil repels water and suffocates roots and microbes alike. Use a fork or rake to loosen the top two inches of soil. This small step helps the grass clippings integrate better and gives worms a path to move through the surface. Once loosened, go ahead and water the area thoroughly. Moist soil really sets the stage for the decomposition process and keeps the clippings from drying out too quickly. You can think of it as priming the canvas for what comes next. Once your bed is prepared, spread a layer of fresh grass clippings about 1 to 2 inches thick. Just be sure to avoid piling them too high in any one spot. A thin, even blanket lets air circulate and moisture move through, which helps prevent the clippings from turning into a slimy mat. As soon as they hit the damp soil, the clippings start doing two important jobs. First, they shade the surface, locking in the moisture earthworms crave. Second, they begin releasing nitrogen and sugars that feed soil bacteria. Within just a few days, this surge in microbial life makes your soil smell richer and look darker. That's the sign that worms will soon follow. After spreading your clippings, give the bed a light watering. This helps settle the grass against the soil and jumpstarts decomposition. Over the next week, check daily to see that the clippings stay moist but not soggy. Dry mulch won't break down, and saturated mulch can turn anaerobic, which drives worms away. If the weather is hot and dry, miss the area in the early morning or evening. Moisture is what keeps the microbial community thriving and it's this invisible layer of life that signals worms that your bed is open for business. Within four to seven days, you'll notice the first subtle changes. If you dig just below the mulch, you'll see these tiny white fungal threads, and honestly, you'll catch those rich, earthy smells. These are indicators that beneficial microbes are colonizing the decomposing grass. By the tenth day, you'll likely spot the first earthworm tunnels kind of snaking across the soil surface under the clippings. You might even find fresh castings, proof that worms are settling in and getting to work. Your soil is no longer just dirt, it's becoming a living ecosystem. You know many gardeners rely on compost or aged manure to improve their soil, but grass clippings offer a unique combination that worms just love. They actually break down faster than coarse mulches like straw, so you get a quick flush of nutrients. Plus, they hold moisture more effectively than shredded leaves creating a cool, damp refuge where worms can feed and reproduce. Even better, grass clippings are totally free and renewable, so every time you mow, you can build up another layer of fertility. Over time your soil develops this sponge-like structure, able to hold water longer and deliver nutrients to your plants without the need for constant fertilizing. One application of grass clippings will start the process, but if you want your soil to keep improving, Consistency is key. Every time you mow, just add a fresh layer of clippings, adjusting the thickness as the old mulch decomposes. This continuous feeding ensures worms always have something to eat and encourages a steady growth of microbial life. Over a season, you'll notice your soil becoming softer and richer, requiring less watering and supporting healthier plants. Your worms will stay active and visible, and your garden will become more self-sustaining with every passing week. At the end of the day, earthworms can only do so much on their own. They rely on you to provide the food and environment that fuels their work. Grass clippings offer the perfect combination of nutrients, moisture, and microbial stimulation that worms need to thrive. By following this simple procedure, you'll transform your garden beds from lifeless patches to vibrant living systems where worms flourish, and your plants will reflect that health in every leaf and flower. If you enjoyed learning how to build an earthworm-friendly garden with grass clippings, 
be sure to subscribe to Hydro Haven, share this guide with fellow gardeners, and leave a comment about your experience. Together we can create soil that feeds itself, one layer at a time.